Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the new patch notes for patch 3.3c. I got a sneak peek on Twitter, there is a lot of changes, it's crazy yet again, so I haven't read it yet, so let's get into it immediately. First of all, Camille. I know Camille got nerfed, but let's actually see how hard she got nerfed. So, um, Camille is currently one of the most dominant champions in higher levels of play. Yes, that's right. Because of all the damage and the reliable utility she provides for her team. It's crazy that, you know what's crazy? It's crazy that Camille is still so dominant even after that. You guys remember that crazy nerf to her first ability? They also did a massive nerf to her ultimate before. They nerfed her third ability in the jungle before. They've nerfed her second ability multiple times. They've also nerfed her passive from 10 seconds to 18 seconds. And now they're also doing more nerfs. So, the first nerf is... Um, okay, this, this is actually a pretty decent nerf. So her, instead of her second ability nerfing for 80% for two seconds, it now decays. So like when, when, you, when you slow the enemy, in the beginning it slows for 80%, but then afterwards it becomes zero. So the, you're, you're not going to feel the slow as much anymore. This is actually a pretty decent nerf. The hookshot cooldown gets increased by six seconds. Six six seconds oh my god this is i mean do i even need to tell you guys how big this is so this is new if the dash hits an enemy champion the cooldown gets reduced by five seconds essentially if you hit an enemy champion the hookshot the cooldown is the same but you don't really hit an enemy champion very often the hookshot is generally used for mobility in the jungle to just go around all the time but this is crazy this is crazy this pushes camille from s plus tier down to like i would say a or s tier like this is not s plus tier anymore definitely hextech ultimatum cooldown increased by 10 seconds as well damn this is oh, ho, ho. this is big this is such a big nerf oh my god this is insane like this is insane this is insane this is an insane nerf this this hurts Camille like crazy. So I think she's still gonna be playable, but this is insane. Like she's not gonna be the she's not gonna be the old Camille anymore. Like after this, she's just not gonna be. Corky is definitely getting buffed, by the way. Despite being a popular pick in competitive play, Corky has fallen behind when compared to other marksmen. Yeah, like Corky's so trash right now. We're giving the daring bombardier some adjustments to increase his overall performance while also reducing his presence in competitive play. Wait, so they are reducing his presence in competitive play? But they're buffing him. So I assume package is getting nerfed, but the rest is getting buffed, right? So package pickup duration. Yeah, so when you pick up the package, instead of having one minute, it, you now have 45 seconds. Okay. Second ability cooldown gets reduced early game by three seconds. And late game, it doesn't get reduced. Her third ability... Uh, his third ability... Is getting... But no no wait no 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 no. his third ability instead of doing physical and magic damage it now only does magic damage so yeah it only does magic damage now which is great so like armor armor is even worse against corky now so this is this is this is pretty nice it doesn't really do much but yeah it's pretty nice resist reduction oh more resist so you're gonna re um you're gonna shred more armor and magic resist with the third ability which is great and it goes faster. It goes twice as fast, actually. So resist reduction per tick. It means like you're gonna you're gonna shred it much faster. You're gonna shred it two times as fast. So this is actually great. Third ability gets buffed pretty hard. His ultimate. Ah, oh, this is good. This is good. Instead of recharging in 12 seconds without ability haste, it now goes from 10 to 9 to 8 seconds. So late game, you can really spam the hell out of your ultimate. Uh, yeah, but this this is like a nerf for competitive. I like this change. I don't. I still think Corky is kind of gonna suck, but this is actually pretty nice. Fiora should get nerfed, right? The Masia Star Duelist has. Oh, really? She hasn't been performing. Fiora hasn't been performing. Are you joking me? To lend her a hand, we're gonna sharpen. We're sharpening her up and increase Fiora's durability in the later stages of the game to allow her to thrive better during team fights. She gets more health per level. So at level fifteen, she has hundred and forty more health. Oof. I mean, okay, I guess. Okay. Jax. Ah. Ah, that hurts. Ah, that hurts. This hurts my heart. 
Everyone's favorite Grandmaster has been a menace in both the Baron lane and the jungle. Jax has been able to display early lane dominance while also scaling harder than his peers into the late game. To address this, we're cutting back on some of Jax's early game power so we can so we can provide his foes some more counterplay in the early game. I mean, I get it. I, I get it because Jax in the early game with his second ability with Grasp of the Undying, it's, it's stupid that he can trade with actual early game champions. This, I feel this is good. I actually feel this is good. Yeah, no, I... You know, even though I love playing Jax, I actually feel this is good. Kazarin, please nerf Kazarin. Please, please nerf Kazarin. Our previous nerfs were powerless against Kazarin. Yeah, exactly, because they, yeah, the nerfs didn't really make sense. As he's still overperforming in higher levels of play. So we're reducing how frequently he can silence and burst down his enemies. So the cooldown of his first ability is getting increased by one second. And the base damage is getting reduced. Ah, uh, this, this, this still doesn't do anything. Kazarin is still going to be broken. Like, sure, this is a little nerf. You know what they need to nerf? They need to nerf his ultimate. Or they need to nerf his third ability. But they all, they shouldn't nerf it too hard. Because then he's going to become useless. But I believe they need to nerf his ultimate or something. Pantheon needs a buff. Pantheon has been struggling to find his footing in higher levels of play. For a while now. In order to bring him more in line with other Baron laners. We're beefing up his overall damage output. Good. His first ability. Mortal Will and Powered Damage. Uh, and Powered Damage. So when you have the 5 stacks. You get. I believe you get bonus damage. It now gives you more bonus damage. Much more early game. Look, this is what you have to put your eyes on. From 20 to 30, it skills more. But this is not the big thing. This is the big thing. Much more early game. You're going to feel this a lot more in the early game. His third ability cooldown gets reduced. Wow, by four seconds, actually. No, this is good. This actually helps him a lot in the late game. Like, you can actually use your third ability multiple times during a teamfight now instead of just having it once. I believe Renekton is going to get nerfed. Um, let's see what happens. Renekton isn't as snappy as we'd like. Really? How am I so wrong about a lot of these champions? Normally, I'm actually right about a lot of these champions. But this time, I've been wrong like three times already. So, he's, he's getting a health buff. Apparently, he's not strong enough in the late game. So, in the late game, he's going to have 140 more health. Okay, I guess. I felt Renekton was fine. But it, apparently, he was not strong enough. Timo, Timo going to get buffed, right? Isn't he? Recently, Timo has had some truffle in the Baron lane. Alice. Oh. I'm I'm <laughs> okay. No, I'm not gonna say anything. Some trouble instead of trouble. Truffle is like a mushroom, funny. <laughs> Especially in higher levels of play. To make our favorite Swift Scout a more competitive pick, we're gonna make him even more swift while also giving players more opportunities to capitalize off the damage and the utility his Guerrilla Warfare ability can provide. His second ability gives him more passive movement speed. This is actually huge, just so you guys know, because you don't upgrade this ability up until the very late game. So instead of basically instead of passively having 10% bonus movement speed, you now have 5% more movement speed. You're faster. You're much faster. So Timo can catch up to enemies much more easily now. And the active movement speed, of course, gets increased as well. But this is so important. Like, this just makes Timo faster. And his third ability cooldown gets reduced. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm working on a Timo video already, but now I got to do it 100%, right? Vegar is 100% getting nerfed. By the way, this champion is like utterly broken. While this tiny master of evil loves to knock down to lock down his foes and show them the definition of pain, it has been frustrating to play against for some time. To give his opponent some breathing room, we're pulling back on how often Vegar is able to lock them down. Exactly. This is this is they needed to revert this change 100%. Like the increase the cooldown by two seconds. He's still gonna be S tier or even S plus tier, but at least he's not gonna be ab an absolute menace to the enemy now. This is this is a good nerf. Like, yeah, this is good. Item changes. Okay, they're changing items. Gargoyle. Gargoyle is insanely broken right now, so they're obviously nerfing it. Since our rework to the enchantment item of Gargoyle has proven to be too safe of a pickup, no matter who you're facing or the situation. We're pulling back on some of its powers, so it's not a clear go-to, and other enchants can have room to shine. Base shield, instead of 30% max health, 20% max health. Ooh. Okay, that hurts him. Like, this definitely hurt, or this hurts Gargoyle. You only really want to get Gargoyle now on a tank. Like, you don't want to get it on an ADC anymore, I guess. Um, the enhanced shield is, goes from 200% to 300%. This is not really a buff. This is just to compensate for this nerf. So, like, when you're close to three enemies, the shield is pretty much still going to be the same. This is just to compensate for this nerf. And the cooldown goes from 60 seconds to 75. Yeah, Gargoyle is not going to be a brain dead pickup anymore, for sure. Like, this is a pretty substantial nerf. Guardian Angel. Uh, Guardian Angel is being picked up as a second or third item. And really? I mean, not really, to be honest. Well, I guess for bruisers, but 
Yeah, okay, I guess, I guess, who loses? And providing fighters too much safety in the earlier stages of the game. We want to keep this item as a late game pickup, so we're increasing its cost from 3.1k to 3.4k. Damn, this is a... This is gonna hurt. This is essentially the same as the stasis changes, where it's not a brain death enchantment anymore. You actually have to think about picking it up. I believe same is gonna happen to Guardian Angel because 3.4 thousand gold for one item is actually quite a lot. And the stats that Guardian Angel gives is really not that much compared to other items. It's really about the passive of Guardian Angel. So having this item be so expensive is pretty good, yeah. Magnetron enchant. Do you guys know what's funny? I don't even know. I don't even know what Magnetron enchant is. <laughs> I genuinely don't even know what it is, but apparently it's becoming cheaper. Great, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what it does. Navori Quickblade. Yeah, this is an item I haven't seen for a while. Navori Quickblade is performing up to our expectations in terms of raw power, but we want to make it more a more attractive pick. So we're reducing its cost and increasing the non-ultimate cooldown reduction that players gain when landing a critical hit. You know what's funny? They're literally saying Navori Quickblade is balanced. But we, they just want it to be a more attractive pick. They just want to change the meta a little bit. They want people to pick up Navori Quickblade a bit more often, unlike Tristana, Master Yi, and those types of champions. Lucian. So it's cheaper now from 3.1 to 2.9k. And critical attacks reduce your normal ultimate abilities instead of 15% by 20% now. The question is, is this item going to be broken? I don't think it's going to be broken. But I definitely think it's going to be picked up by Tristana and Master Yi and stuff like that. This is... I, I, I mean, I kind of like this change, I guess. Skins. What champion is this? Lunar Goddess Diana. Okay, I guess. That was it, guys. So these are the new changes that are coming to the patch. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I will see... Where is it? You all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye.